Thank you very much, gentlemen. Oh, I, I, I mean, just, a, just a quick one. You see, I need to correct something that my brother from the MPP said. He said that <laughs> Alaj Baumia has done so much for the Muslim community and had yeah. built Kumasi Central Mosque. That is a fallacy. That's not true. <laughs> the funding for the Kumasi Central Mosque, and I'm sitting on authority, yeah. was secured by Alaj Isinari. Alaj Isinari, Ghana's ambassador to Saudi Arabia, secured the funding for the construction of the Kumasi uh, Central Mosque. So don't make that mistake anywhere. And I must say, <laughs> the attempt by this MPP to weaponize religion, they should be careful about that. They are trying to say Muslims vote for Alaji Bahamia because he's a Muslim. That's a very dangerous precedent to do. Should we also say Christians should vote for John Mawa because no, he's a no, Christian? No, don't peddle should that. we say that? We Look. should not. So weaponization of religion by the yeah. MPP is something no, they should no, disregard. No. They the, should abandon. The Rani Vegetable said, no, but this is very important. You want to mislead that. Yes. The point is that neglect that. Yeah. Let us vote for people based on their credibility. Because yeah. if you want to even measure the man you're talking about <clears throat> by the tenets of Islam, he has lied. He told the people of our part of the country that he had built the Polygo Dam. That was a lie. He told the people of our part of the country that he was building a well, medical yeah, university. Told. He lied. He <laughs> failed us. So this is a man that has demonstrated that we cannot trust well, him. Well, well, well. Vote for credibility, vote for John Muhammad. I only give you one. <laughs> so the, the question confronting millions of Ghanaians is how, uh, how would they get jobs to do and also live a decent life? And of the 13 candidates that are contesting, the one that has given you a plan as to how you will come out of this problem, Mr. Alan Chemante, he has given us a comprehensive plan capable of resolving all our issues and also uniting this country. This country needs a unifier. And I dare say that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia does okay. not qualify to be in that position. Neither is John Muhammad. The only one that is qualified is Alan John Kodje Chemante. And let me say that for you to honor Muslims is to make sure that hard face are so low, hard fares, where they go for All pilgrimage. Right. As we speak, it's getting to so, 100,000, 1 billion. Alaji Baumia wants to deny all Muslims from going further no, to... No, uh, no, no, we'll not go to, there. To we'll not go what there. is this? Staff How can you do that, Alaji Baumia? Do you know, do you know cash outs? 